In the middle of this pandemic, when you're under a stay at home order, I don't know about you, but I've been doing a lot of self reflecting. And this was perfect timing for this book release because this is a book that didn't just impact my life, it changed it. I want to introduce you to the author of the book, Paula Ferris from ABC News. The book is called Called Out Why I Traded Two Dream Jobs for a Life of True Calling. Paula, first of all, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. And Heather, that means the world to me. That's why you write the book is so that it can impact people like you. So thank you for telling me that. That means the world. Well, I know a lot of people, once I put that on Instagram, wanted to know more about the book. So let's just jump right in, if you don't mind. Yeah. You talk about your year of hell in the book. What happened and how did that year of hell change your life? Yeah, well, this was a personal crisis, and I knew that I was at this professional high anchoring Good Morning America Weekend Edition and co-hosting The View, professional high, but a personal low, Heather, where everything around me was suffering, my relationships with my husband, my kids, with God, my health was suffering, and I sensed that I needed to slow down at the height of my career because everyone was getting my leftovers, and I didn't listen to that still, small voice. I didn't listen and, and really take account of what was happening around me until I went through this personal crisis, this year of hell, which was five events in seven months. And I knew that, that God kind of allowed this personal crisis to happen. I had a miscarriage with an emergency surgery. I suffered a concussion at work. Someone threw an object at my head right before I went live for Good Morning America, it knocked me out of work for three weeks. The day I got cleared to go back to work, I was in a head-on car crash. Then I get influenza, which turns into pneumonia. I knew I needed to slow down. And um, it was at the end of that, that season of hell that I really said, you know what, I, I've got to step to the side, even though like, I felt like I'd worked my entire life and you know, we're told to lean in, especially as women, keep leaning, keep pressing, and it's always related to career and doing. And, um, but that's when, when I really decided I need to, to reassess my priorities. And I knew that my professed values were totally in contradiction with my choices, both personally and professionally. Communities called a faith calling versus mm -hmm. a vocational calling. And yeah. how those are really two different things, but oftentimes in society, they tend to blend. So how do yeah. you differentiate between the two? So we have this faith calling and we have the vocational calling. Faith calling is who you are. It is your purpose. It's why you're on this earth. It doesn't ever change, not in a personal crisis, definitely not in a pandemic. And for me, my purpose, my faith calling is to love God and love people. That's it. it has nothing to do with career. And my vocational calling will change. Vocation is what you do. It can be seasonal. And it's just the vehicle and the conduit by which you will fulfill your purpose, whether or not you are a God-fearing person. Your purpose as a Buddhist or an agnostic may just be to be a kind, respectful human being. Well, everything needs to be rooted in that. That's who you are, and that's not going to change. And so it was just this paradigm shift of seeing my vocation for what it was. It's just the vehicle by which I will dig in and lean into who I am which has nothing to do with doing. It's all about being this person that loves God and loves people. I love that. And that's what really sort of impacted me the most in your book. You stepped away from Good Morning America on the weekends and The View. You were working at one point seven days a week. It's crazy. It's crazy. But when we're in this business, we never want to turn down an opportunity because we just don't know when the next one's going to come along. Then you that's had right. a conversation with your boss and decided to start a faith-based podcast. How's that mm -hmm. going to is this yeah. an answer to, to your prayer? Well, um, it's, you know, I was paralyzed at first from walking away from these dream jobs, paralyzed by the fear of what I was walking away from and what I was walking into, because it's not like, oh, I, I want you to walk away. And there's this cushy gig over here. Like it was very ambiguous. And I felt like I had to press into that fear and take that step when I couldn't see the rest of the staircase. I did ask my boss and it's how I opened the book. I opened the book with this conversation with my, my boss, who's the president of ABC News, and I tell him that I want to step away from my dream jobs and that I really feel like I want to launch a faith podcast, um, which I did. I have. It's called Journeys of Faith, and it's a nice intersection of my faith calling and my vocational calling. But at the same time, um, 
you know, vocational calling is seasonal. It can be seasonal. And we, we back ourselves into a corner so often, Heather, of, oh, I'm a teacher, I could never do anything else. Or I'm a broadcaster, I could never do anything else. And I feel like I've been given the permission, now that I know my worth isn't work, my value is not vocation, my calling is not career, I can accept that vocation is seasonal and that I can branch out still using those unique gifts and talents I've been given, I can off ramp if I want to, I can try something new. And so I, I think now that I see it for what it is, it's been so freeing. And I don't know what the next couple of months look like. I certainly don't know what the next year looks like. But that's, um, that's called living a life of faith and fear. You know, anytime you, you're called to make a decision, you have to press into that fear and um, expect fear, I anticipate it, but I also know that it's on me to step into it and to push past it. And every time I've done that, um, I, I've had this overwhelming sense of peace. I know, I know that God's gonna meet me through it and on the other side. Paula Ferris, the book is called Called Out, Why I Traded Two Dream Jobs for a Life of True Calling. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Again, it made a huge impact on me and I'm glad to talk to you about it. Thank you, Heather. That means so much, so, so much. Thank you for reading the book and thank you for everyone for supporting it.